Gelinde. Greater heights. For this, 
I take the opportunity to thank all my faculty members of St. Peter's Engineering College who have made this day to Tampen today. And as we promised on the induction day to the parents that we will give a successful graduate having socio-economic thought process and we are here today. I take this opportunity to thank all the students and parents and I wish all the best for the graduates for their future and years. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ma'am. Now I request our secretary and correspondent of the institute, Mr. T. V. Reddy Seder, for salutation process. The Secretary Chairman of the Institute, already said, today's chief guest for this 11th graduation day, our Honorable Vice Chancellor J. M. Jew, Edward Professor Katana Smith, said, our good friend and also our board member and also a parent for a long, long time, our associate in St. Peter's Institute of Guest of Honor, today's guest of honor. Dr. Mr. Nagarjun Malari sir and other distinguished members of the days, parents were present here, parents were all watching this and uh, my HOD is here and the persons who are on VAPs today, that is the persons who are going to receive the graduation, the batch of 2021. Good morning to all of you. I would like to take this opportunity first of all to uh, greet each one of you a happy Gandhi Jayanti and also to you. Uh, Shastri sir, sir, this one we can normally we remember October 2nd as Gandhi sir, uh, Gandhi Jayanti, but also on the same day we commemorate the birthday of uh, Shastri and also overall, both of them have done tremendous work for our uh, freedom and also serve the country. As principal Madam Baikri said, you know, students come and go, but we remember each batch of you. 17, you are sitting in the same hall uh, for the orientation program, if I am not wrong, in the month of, you know, August. Now, four years down the lane you are here. You will be remembered, last year batch was, we called them as a COVID batch. But now post-COVID batch, eh, most of the four years you are not there in front of us. You are there only for the examinations and now you are sitting here coming back to the colleges uh, to receive your awards, write your exams and receive your awards. Nevertheless, times, uh, situations in this world as, you know, uh, made all of us transform and uh, manage our things and uh, thanks to JNU Hyderabad uh, we could, you could get your degrees in time otherwise imagine there are some places where admissions were not going on in time examinations were not going in time but now they were, uh, you are all sitting at home they were sitting in offices, JNU Vice Transfers, uh, registers, uh, examination board they were planning day in and day out to see that everybody completes the exam and without any uh, problems they could complete. Thanks to them and thanks to the parents and you too, uh, because you were not physically present. And we Indians are not used to online education. Right from KG to PG, all of them are forced to go to online education. So some of them took advantage of it, some of them could not. Uh, that's why we could see a lot of variations in the marks in some students because of this COVID. And I would like to Remind all of you that you are now officially going to be uh, declared as graduates by our Vice Chancellor, sir, uh, here and as you receive it here, and our chairman pronounces it. Now, when you go out of this college, when you go out of this as a graduate, you have some responsibilities too. As an engineer, our responsibility is either to do something for the society, technically or any other way. That's a mean you can look at the definition of engineer and whichever branch you belong to civil, mechanical, electrical, civil, computer science, whatever branch you belong to, you need to do something and at the end of when you retire in your life, you must say, yes, as an engineer, I have contributed this to the human race. And together or individually you can do something. That's always a better thing. And now this is the time, modern time is not the time of inventions, but it is the time of innovations. So you need to both join the hands with somebody else or yourself and then do something at the end of the year, you can tell your grandchildren, yes, as an engineer, I have done something to you. I think that's the best gift that you can give to yourself and to the country and to the human race. And uh, I would like to take this opportunity also to thank all our dear parents 
who are physically present, some of them here. But due to COVID, as you can see, we had to give a lot of spacing for our students. That's why we could not invite them. We had to request you to please come on online. All those who are watching online, thank you so much to your parents. And I hope your words will definitely do something what you have been aspiring of. And definitely they will bring laurels to your family, to yourself and to themselves. And more importantly, uh, to the university that they have studied and the college that they have studied. Once again, congratulations to all of you. And may Almighty be with you and always help you to grow and help you to grow in knowledge, wisdom and settle very well in your life. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. Now, I welcome the guest of honor, Dr. Nagarjun Maladi, sir, delivery head at Tech Mahindra, Hyderabad. He has extensive experience in program management. He is expertise as practice head, service delivery manager in integrating, managing, heading, developing various projects, programs in various technology. It is my immense pleasure to invite our honorable guest of honor, Dr. Nagarjun Magadi sir, to address the gathering. Saluting all the master's gurus who made me what I am today. Uh, respected Nasima Redigal, Vice Chancellor JNU Hyderabad, dear Bal Redigal, uh, a mentor I have been watching for, for almost more than a decade right now, Alphonse Redigal, my friend uh, and uh, a great companion, uh, chairman of the college, TV Redigal. Madam, Silata Madam uh, is a kind of a sister to me and uh, so close to the college and myself uh, in taking this college to the next level, Madam. And uh, my dear friend Anurag, uh, good morning. Very happy to be here. You know, it's like uh, one reason is uh, yesterday I was wondering, uh, I was just reading in the internet, I was just making a guess how many affiliated colleges are there for JNU Hyderabad, the person who is sitting in front of you is responsible for the number of colleges are 423. 423 colleges are affiliated to JNTU Hyderabad and the head of JNTU is in front of you standing. You know, to congratulate you on October 2nd. It is always a puzzle to me when I watch successful leaders in my that's that is perhaps that's one of the strengths I carried over a period of time watching successful people. I was reading today morning newspaper. There was a news article saying where he was addressing the press, talking about the 50 year celebrations of Yavron University. And I was wondering how this gentleman will make up today. And he is here on the 1030. I think he deserves a, a fantastic applause from all of you. I think one of, the, one of the lessons was already taught to you guys. The graduates, like Tibiriti sir was mentioning, you are officially declared as graduates. I told I'm feeling happy for two reasons. One is the gentleman who was setting an example by himself, you know. 423 colleges, you know, what is the big deal if I am not coming today? You can make a, you can make you can think like that, it's, it's understandable. It's there is a justice behind it. But the gentleman was in front of you, there was a lesson. And second reason, yesterday I was talking to one of my customers. And uh, I was talking to Alphonse Reddy, sir, talking about the kind of issues we were getting for the past one plus year. There was millions of dollars contracts are getting signed. There was a $10 million contract got signed yesterday on robotic process automation. I was wondering where to get the graduates from. And after some time, TechMind has started, you know, doing the mass recruitment. We have been recruiting for the past two to three months. Have to be seen somewhere around 200 plus graduates are coming outside. Is that right? 200 plus graduates are here. Congratulations all of you, congratulations all the parents. It was your dream four years back, right? Four years back you were thinking what to do with my kid before the MSEC and after the MSEC and then you got admitted and the day has come that your sons and girls, sons and daughters are getting graduated. Not only that, jobs are waiting for them. Jobs are waiting for them. And again, having spent 25 years in the industry so far, worked about 10 years in North America, 
I was guessing the kind of demand that you guys we will be able to witness not only for anger idlers but also for the leaders, program managers, project managers. It is going to immensely increase. Is a feeling I'm getting slowly. I've been watching this industry. I've seen 1995 mainframe demand, 2000.com boom, ERP boom, and then there is a recession in 2009. I've seen all kinds of cycles, but the kind of guess I'm telling to myself that there is going to be a, a tremendous demand. And guys, don't think that because I'm graduated, because I got a job, my story ended here. No. Sir was telling, TV Reddit Sir was telling in his speech, it is not all about invention, it is all about innovation. It is all about innovation. And he inherently told you one point that you guys have to focus on the society also. Can I give something back to the society? Why am I talking about these two points? I want to tell you what is your next step. All the graduates, what is my next step? Step, spelling of step is S-T-E-P, right? S-T-E-P. S stands for self-belief. You have to believe in yourself. Before you achieve anything, you have to believe in yourself. It's very, very important. T, which you can which, which you can never ignore or forget during the tenure of your career, is going to start at some point in a few months from now, and you will be working something like 25 to 30 years, the technology, the technology. And it is important to understand what our father of nation, great Gandhiji, told all of us about education. Live in his words, in great Gandhiji's words, live as if you were to die tomorrow. Live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. So please remember that. The second P, the technology, believe me, it is a constant education like great Gandhiji has told. You have to learn like I have to live forever. To live forever in an IT industry or any other engineering discipline, you have to learn permanently, you have to learn consistently. It's very, very important to understand that. That is the second degree. Technology will change. When I got into the industry, it's all green and black space, which we call which we, which we used to call like blue box of IBM mainframe. Now we are talking about robotic process automation where Ethereum is talking about a great machine to run blockchain code, that there is an evolution that is happening. Technology you cannot miss. Technology you cannot miss. I want to leave one thought here. When you are learning about technology, all in one days are gone. When the exam is there, I want to get 80 out of 100 or 90 out of 100, let me read all in one and those days are gone. You have to remember you have to remember all the concepts you have learned each each and every semester. I mean it's a it's a melody in my ear when I was hearing Vice Chancellor sir in the morning. He was talking about bringing some of this computer flower, the software flower to the core engineering disciplines that trend what they want to see going forward. It's definitely going to be a trend. I'll tell you one reason why the concepts are very, very important. In 1956, there was a workshop organized by a gentleman called Jim, Mc Jim McCarthy on artificial intelligence. In nine, that was the first year, 1956. First ever workshop. First ever concept was published in Carnegie Mellon University of Pittsburgh about artificial intelligence. But we are talking about artificial intelligence now. Why? There is, from 1956 to now, there is a huge journey of 65 years. Why people took about 65 years to talk about it? Thanks to the compute. Look at the, look at your hand, the kind of phone you are, you know, holding. It's a smartphone. When I was working in Pittsburgh, the same Carnegie Mellon University in 2000, 2001, I still remember, I bought a 64 MB memory laptop for $3,000. And look at your cell phone right now, it carries 8 GB RAM. 8 GB RAM actually. That means compute has increased. I'll tell you another example to substantiate it. A concept that has published in 1956 took about 65 years to get materialized. In 2009, if you guys know this name, graduates, all the graduates, please keep this name in your mind. It, it's going to become a, a daily thing for you, I'm going to bet on it. There is a gentleman called Satoshi Nakamoto. Satoshi Nakamoto. I don't know how many of you know that. If you Google it, you will find it. He published a white paper in 2008. It is called for e-payments. It's all about e-payments actually. And secured payments. And trust is programmed. The trust is programmed. And the paper talks, of, talks about only that. In 2008. In 2021, Google it. If you look at the market that Bitcoin is holding, $980 billion. $980 billion. Why am I telling these two examples under the T heading, under technology heading? In 1956, artificial has been identified and it took about 65 years. In 2008, blockchain has been identified. You are seeing already 980 million dollar market. 
that talks about my third step in the SDEP, the third one is key, that is entrepreneurship. If you look at the society, you will find a lot of problems. The concept is very clear to you, compute is available, any idea to publish it, to prove to the world, you will not take a lot of time, you can create wealth in that, it's just that the Bitcoin is trying to do. If you look at the value of Bitcoin, which is a, a blockchain based, you know, technology based, you know, outcome, it is about 32 lakhs, 32,000 dollars actually, about 40,000 dollars if I'm not wrong, about 32 lakhs actually. That is the wealth that has been created. Are you the person that is creating the wealth in the industry or not is a question you have to put to yourself. Reason why, the first thing is very important, believe in yourself. God's creation is always great. No two voices are alike. No two people are alike. That means we are unique in our nature. God must have gifted some skills to us. And using that, believe in yourself, believe in technologies, pick up the concepts and get into entrepreneurial strengths. The example of Ola, the example of Airbnb, the example of 3D printing, for example, these are all one, a thought by an engineer at some point in time got materialized. So, not only that, there is a thought, generating market around it is an, as an entrepreneurship. You know, there are examples in front of you. TV ladies are when I met him, it was, if I am not wrong, I just returned from US in 2007, I met him in 2007. By the time he was comfortably placed, as a Sarah or as a Sai colleague, he was comfortably placed, believe me. He had got a couple of schools, he's running very well, he looked very well, he was like comfortably placed. What is driving him to establish this college which has been generating graduates for the past 11 years, right? That is an entrepreneurial skill. In the process, you create employment, you create wealth. That is nothing but the way America has been built. We have to do that actually. All the thoughts that are coming into your mind, like TV Reddy I was mentioning in this speech, look at the problems. If you look at all of the problem that I was having when I'm getting out of a Hyderabad or a Sikandabad railway station, getting into auto, imagine I have to travel to America, the kind of experience that you carry. You don't know, for example, a guy like me, who is not comfortable with Hindi, I will have hell actually. If you don't know Hyderabad, perhaps you will have a Hyderabad too, in that auto. And end of it, again you are giving a 500 rupees, he says there is no change. And then there is a fight again, all throughout the experience, compare that with the experience you will get with Allah. So you look at the problems that society is facing and use the technology to solve the problem. Even if you look at Swiggy or a Zomato or an Ola or an Airbnb, all of these, for example, for the purpose of Uber, even you know, the Tesla kind of an example, all of them are towards society's problems, all of them comfort to the human beings, right? So that, that you have to focus upon. And the final one, most important one in the step is the self-belief, technology, entrepreneurship, and the fourth one is safety management. Many for examples like in front of you, the time management. When we got inside, by 10.40 we are inside this room. 10.45 I think the, the ceremony is supposed to start. The way you plan your time is very, very important. Everybody carry their own priorities for the day, right? Respecting everybody's time, respecting your team's time, doing the time management, that is one. Secondly, like the great Patuhari says, one eka samalankaramati purusham yar samskuta dhariyate. One eka, that means the word you utter, will be an ornament to you. The, uh, the watches that you are going to put, the ornaments that you are going to own is not going to give you the grace. The way you talk, the way you present yourself to the society, the way you behave in your teams is going to make a difference. Please remember that. The communication skill is not about Oxford, Hi-Fi, English is not about that. Telling the right thing to the right person at the right time. That is communication. And accepting, you know, basically you know, accepting to disagree. Sometimes in a team you may get into quarrels, you may get into fights. It is not for your father in law, it's not for your mother in law, it's for the company, right? There is no selfish vision. There is an objective, you have to achieve, you have, you have to achieve that objective, you have an opinion and you have to express it and talk to the person, make that you know, important conversation, you know, kind of a smooth conversation, create always, leave always positive thoughts about the teams. It's the most important thing in my opinion to grow up in the ladder. The technology that you have, the ideas that you can give to the give to the table, more than that, how you behave yourself, how you talk, are extremely important in any way you are going to step away This step thing is remember self-belief, technology, entrepreneurship and people management skills are very, very important. I want to leave these four thoughts with you on this graduation day. Once again, thank you very much, for Divinity Sir and the College Management for giving me the opportunity to say a few words. And at the same time, I want to congratulate all the graduates on this wonderful day. So for some reason, I felt so happy it got postponed to October 2nd. The great Gandhiji, you know, it's like there is no other festival than this actually, in my opinion. Wonderful leader. Without any weapon, he could get the freedom for us. There are a lot to be learned. He's a continuity by himself. There's a lot to be learned. On this day, 
So this is the very uh, transitional period for all of you. And you should be proud in one way that most of you have got the, the better education compared to us. You know, when uh, we were uh, students, we never had this kind of opportunities. Today, you have internet. Wherever, whatever the information you need, uh, with a click, you can find out the information. Whatever the information you wanted to have, all over the world, any, anywhere, anything, you, you will just get it in seconds. But for us, we never had this an opportunity. Suppose if I get a doubt about uh, the topic which was taught yesterday in the college, I used to wait for until tomorrow, until I meet uh, the professor, consult professor or teacher to go and clarify my doubt. But today it is not like that. You need not wait for your teachers to come and uh, explain uh, the issue. You can, in a minutes, with your, uh, even on uh, your uh, mobile, you can search Google, you can find a solution for that. So that is, that is the case of the life today. So you are really fortunate that you have uh, got this kind of an opportunity. Coming generations certainly will have more and more opportunities in their life and you have to adjust for that. Coming to your uh, standards of education, certainly the standards of education is improving day by day. Not only because of what you have learned in your books, whatever learned in your entire life so far, it is only, in my view, it will be only 25%, whatever you are learning. But your life, still you have a big span of life where you have to excel. So every day will be a learning experience for you. You must have the experience of peer learning. You must have learned so many things from your friends, relatives, and uh, the, when you are moving in a bus, moving in a car, moving in a market, Every day you will be learning. It is a continuous learning process. It is not a process that which will end today after getting your degree. So, you have to, today, you have to start thinking behind your knowledge, behind your books. So, it is a real struggle for all of you. There will be failures, there will be success, but success will not remain as a success for your entire life. So every point of uh, stage, you should start learning more and more. Therefore, you should not stop, you are not a, you will be a student throughout your life. Not that your student life is ending today. But you are very fortunate compared to your friends and others who could not get through the entrance examination and get the admission in your uh, engineering course, etc. Some of you must be the graduates in computer science, some of the you may be graduates in mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and civil engineering. You need not just bother about what you have studied here, because I used to go through the history and the lives of different successful people. You will realize that they never stick to their basic found, uh, uh, degree or their foundation. I will tell you today. People are talking about computer science uh, and uh, those students who have got the computer science, they will be very happy. Parents are after computer science and all that. That's not really I mean, correct. I just want to uh, said that the basic knowledge of the subject, the domain knowledge is very, very important. Then you can apply, use the knowledge of computer science to do it. If you look at me, so when we were uh, studying, absolutely there was no an opportunity to study computer science. But we had an opportunity to learn algorithms, we had an opportunity to learn how to write the programs. Uh, particularly in those days it used to be a basic or a portal programming etc. which we used to have in our research and learn. But I have not seen a computer, you will be surprised to say that, you know, until I complete my PhD, I have not seen a computer. I have written programs, but we have executed the programs. Where we have executed the programs, we have to go to a place called ECIL, Electronic Corporation of India, in Hyderabad, in Chalapati. That was only a place where one computer was available. You know what is the size of that computer? Almost half of this uh, room, more than half of this room. But we were allowed to see through the glass how the computer looks like. 
And you never had these desk, desktops or you know, never had your uh, laptop etc. in those days. And if you are run the program, you have to punch the cards, give it to the, the technician, he will uh, operate and he will give you the final output. So if we never uh, used, from, we never had a hand on from experience. If you look at, uh, suppose uh, if you want to drive a car, there are a number of books, self-learning books are there. You will go through, you will understand what is a gear, how to apply a brake and all that. But until and unless you drive a car, you will not realize what is the difficulty. Therefore, even in the case of computers, until and unless you have an answer experience, you cannot do it. So fortunately, during after my uh, PhD program, as a faculty member of the Usman University, I had an opportunity to go and work with the uh, International Center for Critical Physics in uh, Italy. It was a great experience. Going to work with a very advanced uh, uh, place like International Center for Critical Physics there in uh, Rome. Uh, it is it's headquarters in Trieste, but uh, I was working in Rome in a national laboratory where I was heading a division of high temperature superconductivity and uh, three students were working for their PhD under my supervision. One of them was a Chinese uh, fellow and two other were uh, there from Italy. So, uh, this Chinese fellow is very good in computer science. Like he knows how to write the program, execute the program and all, all that. So, every day it was a really a painful experience for me because I never had any hands-on experience on the computer. I never seen the computer at that time. So, being the division head, I have to look into the problems of day and uh, every day, the research problems, when the program brings the program, shows me the program and uh, says that, sir, when I am running this program, you know, I am not able to I mean, run it because there are so many bugs in this. So, only on paper I can clarify him, but when you run the program, again there is a difficulty. So I used to go and sit with him, run the program, and uh, modify the pro program, etc. But uh, that was a really painful experience, but I cannot tell him that I have not seen the computer. I don't have a hands-on computer experience. So I spoke to the director of uh, International Center for Critical Physics. I said, urgently I need a computer. So immediately that was installed in my house. So my owner of the house, the boy, the landlord's son was studying computer science. So I requested him to come and help me. So in those days, the computers, you know, the computers never had this Windows or any other kind of programming uh, operational systems. We had only DOS version. So we had to learn the DOS commands, exclude them. So that was the first, uh, like, you know, learning the alphabets. You know, I started learning the last comments and then execute the program. In nine days, day and night I worked on that and I mastered that. So subsequently, there was no problem as I today. So, all of you have that kind of experience. Today you have hands-on experience, you know how to write programs, etc. And you have a very better uh, domain knowledge for mechanical engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering, etc. So the, these subjects should not bother you because once you go into the employment, once you are looking for higher education, all these stages, you know, one, see, uh, people were asking me when uh, we, I want to go to go abroad and study. Suppose if you are looking to go in abroad and study, you see, people say that in the top 100 uh, universities in the US, I want to apply and get admission and all that. So now that uh, probably most of you must be feeling that sorry that I do not get an admission in IIT, in any IITs or uh, NITs in the country, and unfortunately I got admission in the college in the Hyderabad and JNTV, etc. That is not going to make any difference. Once you go there, even IITs will also join the same university, the university which you are joining. So, they may be having more exposure compared to you when you are going to the job area. But if you are going for higher education, it remains the same for both of you. Even in the job area, today we are trying to bring some new programs so that the new skills can be provided to the students.
the next four or five years, I am very sure that our uh, graduates, celebrity of our uh, uh, engineering graduates throughout the globe will be much more. You know that 30 percent of the students who are graduating from engineering subjects today have got the employment, direct employment. So this is under this scenario, you are completing your uh, graduate program and I wish all of you will really have a very brighter future. I am very sure that you know, whatever you have studied here, it will work as a platform for you to develop yourself. I, if you look at the history, most of them who have studied engineering may not stick to the engineering. They will move into the other uh, areas of jobs. So, other areas of expertise. Today, what is needed is not the job seekers in this country, but the job providers has to be there. Therefore, all of you should work very hard and you should become the entrepreneurs and you should be able to provide the employment for uh, the other uh, people. Therefore, there is an innovation is needed. We should be able to build up the startups. We have a J-Hub established in uh, JNTU. If you have any brighter idea of starting a, uh, uh, having a startup, you come to us. We will provide all the kinds of uh, facilities for building your uh, own startups. Thank you very much for all of you. I really congratulate you that you are uh, getting your degrees today. sharing your golden experiences and moments with us. Now I request our Chairman Sir, Mr. T. Balaradi Sir, for announcement of opening of the graduation day. The 11th graduation day of St. Peter's Engineering College has been called to confirm degrees upon the graduates who have been certified worthy of this by J. N. T. Hyderabad. I have great pleasure in declaring open this graduation day. Let the graduates be presented. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I submit to you that the candidates belonging to the bachelor degrees, B. Tech degree, may be admitted to the respective degrees and necessary permission may be accorded to distribute their degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me as chairman of St. Peter's Engineering College, I admit the candidates whose names are listed in the graduation list and I charge them throughout their life to prove what we are this degree. I also permit for distribution of their degrees. Thank you, sir. I request Principal Madam to get the register and pick, get the signature of Jayman Now it is time to acknowledge the talent of our breathing buddies. Let's begin with awarding medals to the college toppers and branch toppers. I request our chief guest of the day, Professor Nasima Reddy sir, Vice Chancellor Jain to Hyderabad, to award medals to the academic toppers. I request, also I request, Chairman sir to... Now I call upon the stage the toppers of the college. Beginning with the top of the college, the Vaishnavi of CSE department.
Aman, oke. Oke, oke, sini. Oke, sini.
Đây 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 đây
किरण बेटी कैसे कैसे लेडी से कैसे लेडी लेडी से
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
Pastor Jason Shashan. Okay, 
से गड़ी से गड़ी से